Hello and welcome to the another episode of Advanced Photoshop and Lightroom tutorial. And today is we gonna discuss about the white balance. So what is white balance? White balance is a process of removing unrealistic color cast so that object which appears white in a person rendered as a white in your photo. Proper camera white balance has to take into the account of color temperature of a light source which refers to the relative warmth or coldness of the white light. Some of the default preset settings for the white balance in most of the cameras are Auto white balance, Kelvin, Tungsten, Fluorescent, Daylight, Flash, Cloudy, Shade and Custom. We will discuss that what to use when and how we can change the look and feel of whole image by just changing the white balance. So today episode we are gonna see that how white balance affect your image. Hello and welcome. Today we are gonna learn about the white balance and these are the 5 images we are going to edit today. So all these images shot during the various duration of a time. So these are the default white balance type what I already told you which is like auto, daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent, flash and custom. So let's start with this image. This is the image which I clicked in 2014 in the early morning during the sunrise time. This is a Jaisalmer. The temperature was like minus 5 degree. But when I will edit this image, the complete look and feel of this particular image will change. It's not like that. I have not uh, set the white balance over there towards the warm. I have taken on the default setting because suddenly we were coming out and we got this a nice opportunity we, I, which I don't want to miss so I did not get time to set my white balance but let's see what we can do with this in post processing so first of all I will increase the temperature because this is a sunrise time so I wanna give a feel of a orangish look so I will go till 19,000 somewhere around and I will take down my shadow because I want just want to show the silhouette of this image and I will further take down my blacks so just doing this you can see that how much change it has done I have just changed the shadow and the white balance nothing else so this is the power of the white balance. If you have the raw image, you will get a temperature range from 2000 to 50,000. But if you have a JPG, you will not have this priority. So make sure you are clicking in a raw. So I will set it back to the around 19,000. What else I would like to do is basically to give a little more vibrance. and increase the sharpening for this image I will reduce the noise little bit around 30 and I will do the masking so I am holding the alt key and increasing the slider and looking at what I want in sharp and what I don't want to sharp so basically whatever you see in a white will be sharpened and whatever you see in a black will not be sharpened so I just want my outer layer and silhouette needs to be sharp so I will do it around 50% and leave it I will enable the profile correction I will remove any chromatic abbreviation if it is there This is not a necessary step. I am just going to hue and clicking this and trying to change a color feel a little bit. That's all. This is not a necessary step. This is for I personally doing it. That's all. It's my personal choice. 
and then I will probably just reframe my image a little bit. So this is I am just doing threes to one rule of third I am using and I am putting this near this grid. So done. I am done. So if I want I can just copy this image. There is a similar image which is this during same time. I will just paste it and see how the we can change the look. Now this is another image from the trip of Humpy. This was during the sunset. This is a very famous paint. This is a very famous temple. Stone Churite is there. It's called Vithal Temple or Vithala Temple. So we'll edit this image. So in this image also we are going towards the warm because let me just reduce the expose a little bit. So orangish field will be visible. Yeah, so I will go till minus two and let's increase the temperature, which is your white balance basically. So I will I will set it for 17,000. Increase the shadow. You see in last images, we have decreased the shadow to get the silhouette. But in this, I want to get the detail of the temple. So I will increase the shadow to get the detail from the shadow and decrease my highlight approximately 80. This vary upon images to images. So you have to see what is best for you and what you want. I will bring out a white little bit and black little bit and I will create the vibrance. So this is all local setting which right now I am doing. I will increase my sharpness around 70. Reduce the noise. We'll do the masking. I want that temple structure should be visible much prominent. So I'm doing it around 65. Then I will enable profile correction. Remove chromatic abbreviation if it is anything there. We'll do the post crop vignetting later. So this is the global correction what I have done so far for this image. So we'll do a little bit of local correction for this image also. So let me just quickly take a graduate filter, drag it down and I will reduce the exposure and increase the temperature. You see that now the temperature number is 100 to 100 it's not 2000 to 50000 because we are doing the local correction this is the number what you will get if you edit any jpg file then i will pick a radial filter i will click this i want exposure i want little clarity so you can see the structure of temple is visible let me just increase the contrast little bit I also want to show the st complete structure. So we'll increase this by area a little bit more. Okay. 
let me tone down exposure a little bit from the downside so yeah we are done see this is before and this is after we have mostly played with the white balance so here is the one another image which i clicked during the wedding so as you can see that there is a color cast on the person face because there was a blue light so i will see i will tell you that how to fix this basically you can fix this using this icon which is basically a white balance selector so if you have any cast you can just click this and go to any perfect gray and click there and you will see that image will change but as you can see that it is not get corrected because there is a no perfect gray in this image so let me undo this so i will tell you that even if the image doesn't have the right gray how you can fix it so we'll quickly take this radial gradient filter we'll set it everything at zero and let me drag this so i will make a circle so i will reduce the feather completely and what i will do that i will reduce the saturation so this will be my gray layer for me which i can place anywhere and that will give me gray so now i will find it for the mid gray basically a uh, 66 is the code for the perfect mid range gray color something similar what i right now we are looking for let's say done we'll again go to here and pick it the gray color and you see my image is my image is done i don't have much blue cast now in a image so as you can see before and after so now you can go to here radial filter click this and you can remove this now this image is ready to post process it so there is another image which i clicked in the evening time i was just out of the wedding and my camera was set for the indoor setting so i did not get chance to change my camera setting as you can see that sun is just about to set so i thought let's will fix it in post processing so let me just again increase the white balance increase the shadow decrease the highlight this time completely i am taking highlight down and completely taking shadow out then i will do a little contrast around 17 pixel let me increase a white till i get any white spot let me decrease adjust the blacks till i see a little bit of black and i will just remove it i will increase vibrance around 31 then i will take this graduated filter and set it for blue i will take one another filter from down decrease uh, expose a little bit i will give a little warm for the bottom because sunlight is hitting this so this will be a little yellow than the other what else i will do is i will give sharpening around 70 pixel will reduce the noise this is very important when you are doing the sunrise and sunset or a late you know dark photo which has a low light 
you should always remove the noise then i will do a masking so you know the formula basically white become sharp and black become mask so it will remove the noise whatever is there in the black and it will sharpen the white area let me enable the profile correction so you can see that any automatic elevation it will go away and then we'll do the post vignetting so this is before and after for this image so that's all for this episode if you like my work like the video and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching